Hello, Lou Hamilton from Audible Elegance here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We are located on Montgomery Road, a couple doors north of the original Montgomery Inn and across the street from Montgomery Cyclery. Today we're going to talk in response to a question uh, from a commenter on the YouTube channel asking, in his words, what the hell is clipping? Now, this term is principally applied to the amplifier stage. And an amplifier, I refer to it as the mule. Uh, its job is to receive a very weak signal and apply current to it to make speakers do things, to control them. Now, this is a full wave, peak to peak. Now, when amplifiers are instructed to do things, they're instructed to do things through um, essentially the signal from the preamp stage. I want you to do this much. I want you to apply this much current. In other words, I want to play my speakers louder. And what can happen is that the instruction or the demand to add even more and more current exceeds the ability of the amplifier to do it. And at that moment, it, the response essentially is like taking a knife right through the form. And what you get is a shape that is starts, and then it goes flat, goes down, comes back up, goes flat, you know, goes down, flat. And so what it's done is you essentially have clipped the sine wave. Now, at this moment, this distortion is sent on to the speaker. And it, the speaker essentially sees it as heat, which is why um, a lot of effort has been made to try to make tweeters more durable. Ferrofluids are an example of trying to cool a tweeter. But it is the tweeter that suffers from the clipping itself. And so it results in the tweeter being burned out. Um, some early tweeters were not capable of handling a lot of current anyway. Uh, some of the earlier B&W uh, 801s, for example, uh, were built for an English environment as opposed to the American environment. So our high-end room here is actually a fairly large meeting room in England. So their rooms are typically much smaller. So playing at very loud volumes, um, well, in a small environment, doesn't require a whole lot of current. But over here in the States, um, very large rooms, uh, people would apply that and want to get the volume out of the system. And the tweeters themselves were not mechanically able to do it and were self-destructing. So the first response was called an APOC, um, where it essentially saw the amount of current coming in and dumped it. Um, unfortunately, that speaker protection system also resulted in the speaker sounding like crap. So they've eventually engineered tweeters so they could take the amount of signal they're being asked to. But that's different than the effects of clipping. Um, clipping very rarely, um, very, very rarely affects uh, bass drivers because their voice coils are much heavier than a tweeter. Tweeters are very thin. So that is what clipping is about. Is Clipping is essentially the lopping off of the sine wave to create these sort of plateaus. 
That's it in a nutshell.